This is Billy. Billy has a very important day ahead of him. In fact, it's going to be the most important day of his entire life. You see, today is the day Billy starts work at DreamWorld Studios. But what about when I get married or have kids? Those will be some pretty important times. Oh no, Billy. This is much more important. If you have any doubt, consider this. Do you think there will be a training film made about the day you get married or cinematic guidance for when you have kids? Gee, I never thought of it that way. So this is a training film about my first day at work, huh? Tell you what, Billy, how about trying to keep your mouth shut for a bit so I can keep the narrative moving along? We need to keep this under five minutes. Okay. You're still talking, Billy. Sorry. <clears throat> moving along, when Billy walks through the front door of DreamWorld Studios, the first people to greet him will be DreamWorld's crack team of employee screeners. Here, he will be screened for mood-altering chemicals, immoral activity, and possible communist tendencies. Have you ever visited Havana? No. Ever had a Cuban cigar? No. Would you like to try a Cuban cigar? Would you call Joseph Stalin a sexy man or a very sexy man? <laughs> No. This is a daily service all DreamWorld staff goes through because we know we must stay ever vigilant for impure thoughts and the lurking threat of global communism. Jeepers, doesn't this seem to be a bit extreme? Think of it this way, Billy. Would you be comfortable wondering every day, is my coworker Jill a communist sympathizer? Is Joe next to me thinking impure thoughts about David Hasselhoff? Or worse, Kevin Federline? At DreamWorld, these are chances we just can't take. Gee. I never thought of it that way. Again, Billy, silence is golden. Once Billy makes it through our gauntlet of screeners, it's on to getting issued his very own DreamWorld ration kit. Every employee is issued a ration kit at the beginning of each work week, consisting of business cards, four packs of Camel cigarettes, a Sharpie, prophylactics, Famous Dave's wet naps, one bar of Don Maximo Fortissimo Sucumagre, a bottle of Knob Creek. Remember, Billy, drinking before noon is reserved for management only. A survival knife, and of course, one cyanide capsule in case of communist infiltration. If an employee uses up his or her ration kit before the week is out, they can petition DreamWorld's friendly controller for a ration kit refill. Once Billy has his ration kit, he's ready to get to work. Oh wait, not so fast. The natives have spotted you, Billy. You must first partake in the ritual hazing all new DreamWorld recruits must face. The DreamWorld hazing philosophy is based on the proud and time-honored concepts of humiliation, degradation, and pacification, or hudipa. Our hudipa system is simple, really. First, there is a word jumble that needs to be solved. This is followed by feats of strength. Feats of strength involve the new recruit wrestling our interactive design team. In Billy's case, if he can single-handedly pin our interactive designers to the ground, he'll automatically be promoted to upper management. And if he gets creamed by the designers, and let's face it, this boy is going to get creamed, Billy will be relegated to the disc stomping division. What's disc stomping? Oh, don't worry, you'll soon find out. In fact, let's fast forward to Billy on the job. And here we are, watching Billy as he happily stomps discs. Enjoying your new job, Billy? Boy, am I. Good. Wait, what's that? The flashing red light means impending danger. It could mean a communist attack, or worse, Kid Rock is making a new album. Quick, everyone, duck and cover. That means you too, Billy. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Thankfully, this was just a false alarm. Wait, here comes the production manager. He's mad about something. Quick, everyone, duck and cover. Duck and cover. Every single one of you got the memo about the refrigerator and labeling your Tupperware, all right? I need a drink. OK, now that we're out of danger, it's time to get back to work. Aren't you forgetting something, Billy? Am I? Your camel cigarettes. At DreamWorld Studios, smoking is highly encouraged, and it's mandatory. But I don't smoke. It's mandatory, Billy.
There, isn't that better? Studies have shown that employees who smoke are more productive, happier, and better looking. It's a scientific fact. <laughs> You're looking better already, Billy. <laughs> and now we've come to the end of Billy's first day at work at DreamWorld Studios. Billy's done such a standout job stomping discs this day that the boss himself has come over to congratulate him and give him a promotion. Billy is now assistant to the disc stomping supervisor. Good work, Billy. And what about you? Will you be able to perform to Billy's level, meet and exceed the challenges that await you at DreamWorld Studios? You can if you do as Billy did and follow these golden rules. Teamwork. Remember, it's through teamwork we get the job done. Empathy. Understanding your co-workers' needs will make for a happy work environment. Mentoring. Don't be afraid to ask for help from more experienced co-workers. Posture. Posture is always a good thing. Trust. Just trust me on this. Rest. Remember to get at least 10 hours of sleep each night. Energy. With rest comes energy. Socialism. Remember to keep an eagle eye for any trace of the red menace. And smoke. Keep enjoying those smooth and refreshing camel cigarettes. You'll thank me later. Through following DreamWorld's golden rules of temptress, we know you will be the best temptress you can be for the DreamWorld team. Thank you for your time and good luck. Ha, 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 ha.